Hi guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how we calculate the address range to find out what is the address that is permitted by a wildcard mask when we design an access control list. So the idea here is that when we are doing a standard ACL here, and over here we have the base address and the wildcard mask. So this is the wildcard mask here. Now, when we are using a wildcard mask, it means that we are permitting a certain set of address instead of one address or the whole network. So you could have PC1, PC3, PC5 or somebody uh, randomly in within a network. So the question here is that if I use a wildcard mask 252 here and I match it with an address 172.16.1.3. So in the end, I'm going to be given a range and I want to know what exactly is the IP address that falls inside this range. So we have a question here. If I design an ACL using this statement and then I assign the IP address as you can see here, 1.5, 1.51 and 1.13 to some PC in my network, Will this PC be permitted by the ACL or it will be dropped by the routers? So for us to know about this, we have to come up with the range of supported IP address first and then we have to compare one by one whether it's top 5 in that range, is 51 in the range or if it's 13 is in the range. So to do that, I'm going to show you how we resolve the range in the next page. So going to the next page, I'll just copy back the address that we have so we know what we are dealing with. Okay, so given an IP address and a wildcard mask, it is very easy for us to know the range. So what I'll do is, the first step, I'll convert the last octet of this IP address into binary. Because as we can tell here, if you have all zeros in a wildcard mask, it means that you are just going to copy that value back exactly. Okay, so we are only going to deal with the last octet here. So I have an IP address and I have a mask. So I'm just going to label it here so that you are not confused. The first one is an IP and the second one here is the wildcard mask. Now the next step here is to convert <coughs> this address to its binary value. <coughs> Excuse me. So over here, one dot. If you convert three into a binary, then you are going to get one one. Okay. So over here, I'm going to just write it as zero 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 one one. Now the same thing here for two five two. I'm going to convert two five two into its binary, and two five two. When you do a conversion, it will give you. <coughs> One 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 zero zero. <coughs> okay. So now that we have the last octet in binary, the next step is to work something on the wildcard mask. So the next step here, we want to change all the value one. So change all the one in the wildcard mask into an X. So we are going to convert them into an X notation here. Now, the way I do it, this is, I'm just going to copy this address back exactly. So I have 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, which is what we have just converted earlier. Now, for the mask here, in the place of 1, it will be an X. So this one will be converted into something like this, X, 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 0, 0. So just to visualize this for you, we have 6x here because we have 6 ones and then the last two remains as 0. So right now what we have here is we have a wildcard mask that looks like this. We have 6x here and two, the last two bits will be 0. Okay, now the next thing we want to do here is we are going to do a match. So the third part is we're going to do a matching here. Now, just a... Uh, a uh, side note here, the matching that we are going to do is not an end operation. So when we are trying to calculate for the network address, normally we are we we'll use the end operations. But in this case, we are going to follow a special notation here. So I like you to look to the side here. So when the way it works is if you have a zero and OK, 
okay so and a one then you get a one now you have two zeros then you get a zero if you have a zero with an x then you get an x you have a one with an x you get an x okay so this is going to be the rules that we observe when we are doing the match so let's try this on every example here so in the case of zero when you have a wildcard mask zero you're going, just going to copy the value back exactly because it means an exact match okay so now we'll deal with the last octet here based on the rules here we start with the first one when you have a zero and an x you get an x so over here i'm going to get x here so the same thing will happen for the next five bits i will have six x again now let's check on this one here so when i have a one and a zero based on the rules if i have a one and zero then i'll get a one so in this case i'll get one one so now this is the resolve welcome mask here and what does this mean to us is that now based on these informations we can already tell what ip address is being permitted so the rules here the next step here is we want to know what is the range So because in this case the ACR is actually permitting it is a white list so whatever that falls within this range is actually being permitted whoever is outside will be discarded okay so now um it's over here from here uh, looking at the mask here you can tell that in the place of x okay it could be a zero or it could be a one now this is the rules of a wildcard mask so whenever you see an x in a wildcard mask it means that that value here it could be substituted by zero or by one now for me to know the range if i want to know the first address of this the range being permitted so uh naturally we will set all the x value to zero that's how we know that this is the first address so in this case if i have an x x x x x x one one here when I do a substitution, then I'll start with all zeros for the place of x, and then I have two ones here. So this is the first address where all the x's we set it to zero. Okay. Now naturally, for this, when we progress incrementally, let's say the next address, the second address, we'll add this by one. So in the place of x, it could be zero, 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 and in this case. This is the next address here, so it is a 1. And then again, I have two ones which is unchanged. So it, just to make it clearer for you, I'm just going to highlight this one here. And you can see that I'm actually incrementing each uh, for each iteration. I'm adding one uh, number here so that I'm getting the next address. So if you progress in this way until the last address, then you're going to get an address in the place where all the x is 1 so 1 1 1 1 1 1 and then again we have two ones which is unchanged so this is a case where all the x is being set to 1 so now over here what it means is that we actually have the range of address this whole thing here is the range so whatever ip address that is inside this range that means the ip address will be permitted so going back to the questions here just now we are given five ip address and we want to know whether they are in or they are out okay so let's try to compare this one by one okay so now let's try on the first address here the first one we have 172.16.1.5 so you can opt it back into decimal so the first one here if i have a dot five after the conversions, I will have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is, this is 5 in its binary. Now, looking at this thing here, we have a mass which is 6x and 1, 1. Okay? Now, 
when we do a comparison here, we know that in the place of x, it could be either 0 or 1. So it doesn't matter what value that I have here, it is always correct. But the last two of the, the last two bit here is not the same. So it means that if the IP address ends with 1, 1, then it is permitted. Other than that, it is not permitted. So in this case, this is not a match. So we can say that this address is not permitted. Now going back to this so second example here, 1.51. So when I do a conversion to the binary here, so 51 from decimal to binary, you're going to get 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Now, if I have a mass that I have to observe in this notation here, x, 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 1, 1. Now, let's do a comparison. It doesn't matter what do you have in front because it is x, so it is always correct. And for the last part here, it has to be 2, 1. So in this case, it's actually a match. So now this is a match. So we can say that this guy, this guy here is permitted. Now, how about the last one here, 1, 3. So if I want to do the in the same way 1.13 and we're going to convert 13 into its binary. So what we have here is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay, now let's do a match here. We have x, 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 1, 1. So we can tell immediately that the last two bit doesn't match. So this is a mismatch. So in the end, this guy here is not permitted so for the answers in these questions you only have b which 